Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Sleepy Notes Club. This is my first ever video. I am very happy to be here um, and finally showing a bit more, with a bit more detail what I do and how I do my planning. Um, as I explained on one of my posts on Instagram, uh, I finally feel like I am in a very safe space, um, safe enough for me to actually sit down and um, record. So I'm very happy to be here anyway. And today we're going to be talking a bit more about my system and how I do things. Um, a lot of people requested this on Instagram, which is where I'm most active. So, you know, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, so yeah, these four babies are, um, you know, the finalists, I guess, uh, the ones that came with me all through 2023. I've changed and I change covers every time. So I usually, I think for most of my 2023, I think you guys will recognize I use my um, Motorama Apricot. I also use my Phytofax uh, Finsbury, but I decided to just film this video in these ones which I've been using for the month of December. So this is my Louis Vuitton um, agenda. This is my Filofax um, Safiano, um, my London organizer, organizing co, this one. Everyone asks me about it. I will link everything down below, of course. And this is my traveler's notebook and passport size. So yeah, these are the main um, planners that I use and every single one has its own system which I think is the reason why it works so well for me so apart from you know the covers that you may actually you know I actually don't post this ones very often on Instagram it's just my motorman and stuff but it's just the same so let's see this one which is the chunkiest one as you can probably tell um let me just put this here so it's not too cluttered so this one is my um, main planner. Um, it holds my, well, my heavy planning, dailies, weeklies, monthlies, and everything in between. Um, it also holds um, some notes um, in my inbox and travel section and money section or finances. Um, and when I use my modern cover, I do like to have everything in one planner because that one has the 30 millimeter um, rings. I think this one has, I think this one maybe 20, 25. Um, and all my other planners, like my file of accents and stuff like that, they're all 20, 25. Um, so when I'm not using that one, I like to split my uh, sections in two. So here is my heavy planning with my weeklies and everything, like I said. And I usually go in between covers and, for example, this one, there's nothing because I don't really use it that often. But for now, I'm having like the other um, sections in here. So like work related, food with my recipes, a bit more he like heavy finances, my personal section and my art section as well. Um, and this one I don't use very often. It's just like, it stays in my desk, on my desk. So when I have to write something specific to it, then I'll reach for it. Um, but so let's go through this one. Cause I think everyone is more interested in my chunky, I'm a chunky everyday planner. So like I said, this is my planner. It usually stays at home, but I do love to bring it almost everywhere with me. If I'm not going like, on shopping and stuff, this other baby is the one that comes with me, which I will get to it, of course. Uh, but this one stays home or when I go and I like to go planning, uh, have like planning section ses session, sorry, on like my coffee shop, then this comes with me because I just really love it. Um, so yeah, um, let's see. How, let's do a, a small flip through. How about that? So yeah, um, I will try to link everything I use down below. Most of my inserts are from Filofax and... I don't really purchase a lot of things online. I prefer to do them myself, but if there's anything that uh, jumps out to me, I will definitely write it down below. Um, so yeah, I, I think uh, it's just on the side, just some Polaroid, some like a small note from my mom. Right now I'm living in the UK, so I'm not away from home. Um, so I like to kind of bring it with me. Um, a lot of people actually ask me where I'm from and I'm from Mexico. 
uh, but I'm right now living in the UK like I said and I'll be here for a little while so I am definitely very far away from home and I like to have little tokens and memories I'm a very like and I, I think you'll see this from uh, my planner and a lot of people keep uh, also like mentioning it I'm very I'm a very nostalgic person so I like to have memories polaroids and uh, like I don't know vintagey kind of 90s scrapbooky decoration in my planner so you'll probably notice that throughout um so yeah so this is my little calendar with from plan with v i, I can definitely say that um i love doing this as well so this is just like my annual calendar first off is my inbox and this is just a small kind of routines that i follow am and pm i don't really refer them to them that much i know them by heart but you know i love to have them there um, this is my inbox, inbox section, like I said, I just keep things divided by Mexico, UK, things I need to do. Um, some notes about future logs. Um, I have, oh, well, that's it, actually, oh, it's because I migrated. I used to have my planning notes in here, but I, because um, it's like an, like an ongoing list, I guess, so I had it on my inbox section. Um, but I pass it to my no note section instead because um, it's always growing anyway. I'm also thinking for 2024, I can tell you, I'm thinking of merging my inbox and note section because I feel like it's just the same thing. I'm not really, my mind doesn't really comprehend the use of an inbox. For me, it's just notes. So I may actually do that for 2024. Um, but yeah, um, so this is my note section, movies to watch with by myself, with my husband, um, tickets to Harry Styles that I never end up, ended up going, sad, I was very sad about that. Notes about my visa, the UK visa, um, passport, so I, this is where I write just small lists that I need to reference at some point, wish list, um, gift ideas for friends, stuff like that. Um, my next section is my tracker section, which if you don't follow me on Instagram, uh, or if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I upload very often. I really love this tracker section, even though I already decided to change it for 2024, but this works so well for me. Um, basically, let me show you, let me just show you this one. Um, so what I do is I just, um... I like to have everything in one place. Again, my brain doesn't like to have different trackers and sections in different pages because I forget to actually open the section and flip through pages. It doesn't work like that. So in my routine, I know that my trackers are like my the prelude to my heavy planning. So I always need to open it first and having everything in one spread works so well for me. So um, yeah, I write my, have my meal, meal trackers. I write what I did, such as like if I stayed home I, or went somewhere. I like to track or um, note the weather. If you see, because I've received questions about this, what does it mean when I kind of cross it, um, the, the meal plan or the meal, what I had that day is if it's crossed out, then it means that I actually stick to kind of like a healthy diet that day. And if it's not, then I didn't do a great job. Um, for me, three or four is fine, fine a week. Um, I also try my sleep, skincare, weed stars, um, my health, how I felt, my water intake, and my, it's kind of like a social media tracker as well, if I upload it to my sleepy notes or hints of gray, which is my personal uh, Instagram. And that's, that's how it works got this as a divider um so yeah that's that um this is i was really proud of this but i don't think i'm gonna bring it to 2024 actually um this is my really nice little calendar i was so happy about it um but i introduced halfway my traveler's notebook so i'm not really gonna be using it anymore but uh, it's just like a line of day kind of exercise for my mind and brain. Um, this is my health calendar that it's part of how well, I obviously destroyed my mold skin. So I'm using the calendar for November and December. And I have some um, keywords uh, here. So for headaches, period, uh, muscle pain or other. So I can track how I felt that day. 
um well yeah so next up is my social i'm not really going to show this because i've got a lot of like kind of videos on what i want to do for social media uh but yeah i've got obviously cookie here <laughs> um next up is my travel section um this one is quite long but i'm just gonna go past it real fast it's just travel essentials reminders before i fly somewhere before we travel somewhere um clothes things to do things to take places to visit uh, stuff like that um then we go to my dailies so this is where the heavy planning um properly starts um i have oh i have this envelope with some small dot um stickers which i i use this very often i love them so much so these are um my beloved number stickers everyone keeps asking about them and i'm so sorry i don't know where you can get them i usually buy them in my local um, stationery shop back in mexico now i'm in the uk and i'm freaking out because i don't know where to get them but i promise if i find something very similar online i will definitely drop the link on um, instagram um but yeah this is my um daily section all of these uh, i use for the entire month of december and i usually just use uh, filofax inserts these are the day and one page inserts and i love them so much um i don't know they the, the more minimal something is the most like productive i feel so this just works so well for me some people ask me about i'm trying to kind of think what people ask me normally so maybe i can um answer some questions so let's see about this one so on my daily, I, I do like to draw a line on the task section because my I, I really do like to categorize my my tasks by importance or prior, like prioritize what I need to do during the day. So I use, I think it's a Franklin Covey system thing, um, A for the most important things that I need to, to get done that day, B for still want to do that day and it would be great if I do and uh what does it be and c um i don't have to do that day but if i do then that's great so that's kind of what i do so that's why i like to um draw a line um with a pencil i also the schedule really love seeing my day in a kind of timeline way um when i cross something uh, as well here means that i did do that activity that day if it's not crossed then it means that i didn't do it same for crossing out my tasks sometimes i do that sometimes i like to highlight the ones that i actually finish which is this one and sometimes i just like to cross it but like completely so it doesn't really matter it's just how i feel uh, on that specific day um this is today's date this is where i'm filming this is my dashboard which i really love i always end up <laughs> changing my my uh, dashboards but this one since i'm away from home um i made my best friend write a small message for me um before leaving mexico so i thought that was really sweet this is just uh like a letter i found on a local stationery shop i'm sure you can find it on like michael's um this is a polaroid picture of my husband and i and this is my favorite brand like makeup skincare brand glossier so i always like to have stuff like that there they have they make great stickers um but yeah so that's my uh daily my weekly again very minimal uh there are also filofax inserts um all I do, again, I draw a line and I divide my day, yeah, my days with um, activities I need to do on the day. So these are all the tasks. And if I have to go anywhere that's not at home, then I write it here, either home, posada, which is a Christmas gathering, coffee with friends, brunch with friends. So that's how I do it. If it's crossed, then it means that I did it, or everything was good. And uh, yeah, so, well, let me let me show you my specific system after, but that that's my weekly. That's just what I do. I like to separate that again because my brain likes to separate things, and if I have everything everywhere, then I'm not I'm not productive enough. Um, the divider for that that's again me and my husband, and then my monthly section. Um, well, yeah, so event calendar for birthdays. This is the last section that I use as uh, and my heavy planning um so basically uh this is my calendar i'll just show you december 
Um, what I like to do is I color code each week with a different color, usually with my mild liners. Um, and then I like to keep a inbox section or a list of the tasks that I need to do each month. And this is how it looks, usually a lot. I just write any, anything that I think of that I need to do that month goes to this list. Um, I color, since I color code my weeks, then I, you know, I put the colors in here. Uh, if there's any specific dates, then I can write it down. But if there's no specific dates for a specific task, tasks, uh, for example, pick up one of my bags. Um, I just knew that I had to do it on a specific week, but I didn't know what day yet. I just color coded and I added that. So yeah, this is really useful. I don't think I can live without this. Um, I always plan at the start of um, a new month. The first thing I do is I uh, start with my monthlies. I write the events that I know are happening and some um, objectives here. And how I plan is, as soon as I have stuff to do for the month and I, things that I, need to, I know I need to do, um, first week, we, I, I also plan at the start of each week. So first, at the start of the month, I plan my monthlies. Then as, at the start of each week, I usually Sunday or Monday, if, but I prefer to do it on Sunday. Um, so I sit down every Sunday at the start of each week and then I'll look at my inbox see what specific tasks I have for that specific week. And then I will start filling my, um, my weekly, my weeklies for that week. I don't plan everything. I just plan a week at a time. So after I look at my inbox, I start planning my week. I, um, I see one that's a bit more filled like this one. I again, uh, write the objectives I had in my calendar here. I, if there's a specific event, then I write them here and all these tasks are come from here. I never, never, ever, ever, if I have something to do out of nowhere and I reach for my planner, I never go and write it down. Even if I know the day on my weekly, I always go here because it's more like a, I find it like I, I keep a better kind of organization that way. So it always goes here and then Sunday comes, I'll go and they go here. And then after this, um, the same Sunday when I'm planning the, the start of the week, I look at uh, Monday and then I go for my dailies. Again, I never feel two, three or the whole dailies, even though I may have this all like, completed. I always um, look at one day at a time. So let's say today is Sunday. Uh, tomorrow's Monday. I already filled this with what I had in my monthly. So all I'm going to do is fill this and if there's anything to do on my Monday page. And the rest is history. I don't want to know about it because then I get too confused. So that's how it goes from monthly to weekly and weekly to daily. Honestly, I hope that makes sense. Even in my head, it's so dif difficult to even like illustrate how I do it because um, I just do it automatically. But if you have any questions, let me know. Um, so yeah, basically that's it. On the back, I have a mini money or finance section um, and that's it for my heavy planning. Um, then we go, and this is going to be real fast because it doesn't really have that many things. This is my pocket planner, my beloved pocket planner. I love it so much. Um, all I keep here apart from, you know, you can, if you want a specific flip through, then let me know. But this is just my, um, on the go planner. So this is basically a copy of my weekly section. Um, but focusing on events that I need to do outside the house, for example, um, let's see if I have a, I sometimes put a couple of, uh, receipts and stuff. For example, here I had a nail appointment um, and I definitely knew that because I looked at this. So all I do is again draw a line, um, a specific event. I uh, write down and highlight in yellow always so I know what's happening. And then I write tasks here, but only tasks that I need to do outside. Nothing that I have to accomplish inside. It's just outside planning in this little, little guy. So that's it. 
events and tasks uh, other events as well but this is the main event and these are tasks that follows for example I had to go get myself a coffee before the appointment then the nail appointment and then i had to go print and then i had to go stationery shop and then i had to go pick up a ring so that's just what i do in these babies so it's just what i when i don't want to take this one with me then i take this one and it just works amazing um and so the last thing my last baby that i want to show and again i will do a flip through in some other video because it's already quite long this is my new and i just introduced this by the way a couple of weeks ago it's my new traveler's notebook in the passport size um and this is great i used to keep my mood trackers in my um planner in my personal planner but now i'm keeping it all in these guy here and for example the first insert holds um, my mood trackers if there was any conflict or any event that happened and made me cry as well i kind of like kind of keep track of that first insert is a calendar and I, this is where i keep my mood tracker which i really love and i just love seeing how my emotions went how my month went um in like a visual style so this is what i do i also write a couple of objectives or things i want to accomplish on the month um my next insert is the uh hope this is not too small for you to see but this is my weekly section this is where i keep more of like a health log which definitely is going to come with me to 2024 is a headache you know headache cramps and um, my period tracker as well this goes here and in my weekly section this is great i love this doing like a one line a day um entry and it's, it's going amazing i'm really enjoying it a lot so this is what happens in this one so all of this i was doing in my big planner but i decided to kind of split it so it will be easier for my mind again i like to divide things um my other insert is just life in life in lists so it's just gonna be lists of things that we did on the on the whole year for example stationery i purchased there you go i've just started this so it's a bit bad and this is my my last insert is my um new common place and i only the first one that i can show you is the gifts that i received on uh, this like in this christmas so and these are the stickers that my hubby gave me as well so yeah that's basically it um i hope you guys enjoyed i'm sorry it was so long i honestly i'm not good at not rambling that's why i've been kind of scared of starting this youtube channel but i hope you guys enjoy let me know if you want to see anything else and if you have any questions let me know as well i'll try to get back to all of you um if you don't follow me on instagram please do sleepy notes club and that's where i usually interact a bit more but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you on the next video